this is the view of the scalabis dissection that was done in Pretoria. Here we can see the transclavus has been performed. That's the pituitary gland that's been exposed. And again, you can see the chiasma very nicely. Again, this chiasma exposed to the right optic, left optic chiasma, optic track. And we are able now to see the uh, brainstem and the basilar artery with the posterior cerebral, superior cerebral, and the third cranial nerve. And if you go laterally, we have also skeletonized the carotid siphon. And by medializing the carotid siphon and going lactal to it, the cavernous sinus is exposed very nicely. Again, there's a view of the cavernous, there's a third nerve, fourth nerve. Again, the view of the cavernous sinus, third nerve, fourth, floating six, V1, and there's V2 going to follow the tandem. And this is now the Michael's cave with V3 going down into the foramen ovale. This is the sixth cranial nerve. And again, you can see how, if we trace the origin, we can see how it enters the bony canal and exits posterior lateral to the paraclival carotid. There's a sixth nerve coming out posterior and lateral to the paraclival carotid. And that is the Dorelos canal, as you can see very nicely here. And then going to the cavernous canal, three, four, 6V1, V2. Now let's look into the transclival anatomy that we get through a transclival. We can see the V, the sixth nerve, sorry, very clearly seen during the Dolores Canal. That's the fifth nerve, six, five, which is big. And that's the fourth nerve, as you can see. Sometimes it's very difficult to see. And now we can see the seven and eight complex going into the internal auditory meters. And the lower cranial nerves that you can see down there with the multiple rootlets entering the jugular bulb region. And down here is the vertebral basilar junction. We can also see the skull base exposure of the trans form as well, and the defect that is uh, caused by the trans form. Now, how do we reconstruct a trans -clival? So by taking a piece of fascia, we cover the defect. So either we do a gasket flap or we can also do put a fascia and make sure that uh, the dura covers up the edges as much as possible. In this case, we are just for it's just a demonstration, we're just using a piece of paper. And once the dura has been tucked in, in all the edges, make sure that it is uh, watertight. You can put a piece of fat on top of it and then the septal flap that has been raised is now placed on top of the repair itself. Obviously depending on the size of the defect, the flap is tailor-made according to the size of the defect and then tissue glue on top of this. And We do not put cell; we just put tissue glue on top with Surgicel, gel foam and azopore. Thank you very much.